Hello everybody, quick little video on doing these cam bushes in the supersonic grove. <coughs> right. That one's drilled and bushed. This is the only one I haven't drilled yet. So can hear how much ply and slop there is on that. You can see it. But this one, no slop whatsoever, but it spins really nicely. So, what you need is Brass tube, seven mil out of diameter. Ain't got my glasses on. Five mil in a diameter. Get that off eBay, no problem. Cut it into sixteen mil lengths. And then for the next part. I will go in the shed and show you how I drill them all. Right, see you in a minute. So what you don't really want to do is think you can just put that in a vice and get a hand drill and or hold it in a pair of pliers and drill it with a hand drill. You actually want to get it in a pillar drill on a decent cross table. And then once you've set it, they all go in the same place. And they all get drilled in the exact same place. Simple as that. What I like to do is file a chamfer on one end and with a snail count, I think take out the burr that the drill left when it came out and go in from the end you drilled and pop them in oh that's as simple as that there we have a nice brass sleeve. Oh, look how much better that is. It spins very nicely, but there's no play whatsoever. They fit so snug. A bit of grease in there and Bob's your uncle. And all that. So, just thought I'd show how to do that while I was doing dials. Next, I will show what I'm going to do to the trigger. Might as well do separate little videos. Right, cool. If you like that, hit the like button. Good night. Have fun.